That's good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today is a bit of a mishmash, which is to be expected in my videos. I started this off thinking I'm just gonna use drugstore, but at my drugstore at the Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada, they carry Lancome, they carry Smashbox. Technically it's drugstore makeup, but it's not really. And yesterday was friends and family, so I got 20% off all my prestige makeup. Actually, I think they had 20% off in the whole store. If you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. I'm a professional makeup artist, a licensed hairstylist. I show some fashion on here as well, hoping to help you out. I started posting on TikTok in 2021 in the fall. I'm now over 100,000 followers, yay! We're all having to learn how to do our eye makeup and our skin as we age. Everything changes and it's changing for me too. So I'm hoping that when I share, it will help you guys out. I am gonna do a check-in also at the end of the day. That's right, I gotta set myself an alarm to do that. I almost forgot and I just said that in my video as I was doing it. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back and seeing me. I appreciate it so much and yeah, I just let's get on with the video. But I'm going to show you what I purchased and I'm going to try a few things out. I did pick up the Tanti Doll Ultra Wear Karen Flow Foundation. Lancome has gift with purchase at Shoppers Drug Mart right now. They gave me the Absolute Soft Cream with Grand Rose Extract, Genifique Eye, and they gave me Genifique Concentrate. This would be for the face, this would be for the eye. So what else did I get? I got another foundation. This is the Always On Skin Balancing Foundation. I will try this in another video. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I love this one. So I have a good feeling about the Always On Foundation. I got a blush from CoverGirl, a highlighter from Revlon. This looks really pretty. I've got CoverGirl eyeshadows. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. And I got two L'Oreal eyeshadows. Did I get two or three? No, I got three eyeshadows from L'Oreal. I picked up Milani eyeshadow, Milani No Pore Zone primer, Milani setting spray. Let's see, did somebody use this? Let's see, that seems nice. I got a Smashbox concealer for another video, and I forgot to use this, darn it. This is the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil Flash Blow Dry uh, Leave-In Mist, and this came highly recommended by my friend Aura. She's been in the beauty industry forever, and she swears by this, so I wanted to try that out. Which one should I do? I feel like I should show you the Lancome because there's gift with purchase. Let me try this out on my skin because I'm losing my self-tan. Oh, that's very sheer. What? Is it really that sheer? Oh my goodness, that's so liquidy. Okay. Guys, did that do anything? Holy cow, that's light. I'm going to put my hair up. By the feel of it, it is a hydrating skin tint with some color. And honestly, it's really pretty, except for that I don't like these. But I feel like my skin looks like skin and it polished it just a little bit and I don't have that redness. Beyond long wear, we stand for care. An unpredicted Neo Glow Foundation technology that gives your complexion a 24 hour supercharged natural healthy glow. All day fresh, this medium buildable glow. Medium buildable. No transfer, no fading, no settling in fine lines, 82% glow boosting serum base, powered by hyaluronic acid and mandelic acid. Maybe you have to shake it? Okay, let's try this again. Oh, that might be thicker. That's better. This was supposed to be a drugstore video. Okay, Lancome, let me see what Sephora says. Best for oily combo and normal skin. For light foundation coverage, apply with finger or damp sponge or foundation brush. For medium foundation coverage and maximum results, apply with a flat foundation brush using a stippling motion. It feels really nice, guys, like a serum. The color I got is 310N, and that's because I self-tan. I'm always a neutral, but I don't know what I would be if I was my natural color. I don't let myself get there very often. What do you guys think? What did I prep with? I have Paula's Choice Vitamin C. Actually, it will probably be right here. And I used Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream, so I'm very well hydrated. But it's been sitting on my skin for a while. Other than that, I didn't use a primer or anything. I don't feel I need to use a primer with this. 
All right, so the foundation in Canada is $70. I used my points yesterday, so I actually paid 56. Oh no, 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 I'm so sorry. Yesterday was friends and family at Shoppers Drug Mart and I got 20% off. I did, eh? I didn't know that it was on Prestige. What a great day to shop. If you are over 55 at Shoppers Drug Mart, you get your seniors discount. I used to work there. I'm not sponsored or anything, but the seniors discount was 20% too. Like you don't have to wait for Sephora sales or any other sales or Christmas time sales when you're a senior. Take advantage. I might as well use the concealer. I'm gonna shake it too. This is in the color 260. It's not too light. Uh, I feel like I need a little bit more pink in there. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Bobbi Brown's Bisque. In fact, I really, <laughs> I'm doing it backwards, but I'm just gonna put it beside it. And that way the mix should help. I guess I'm doing it all with my fingers today, guys. Why not? So pressing in, if you have really long nails, obviously this is not a good idea. And if you wanna keep your nails clean, also not a good idea. Let's try this CoverGirl clean color quad here. Oh my God, no. No. Well, I was excited about that one. Darn, oh, it went all over my black top. All right, let's try this one. This is the same brand and it is in the Cool Berries. Please work. I'm gonna prep my eyes with Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. It's either this or Soft Ochre that I use. Since this is kind of on the pinky tones, then this is more pink, but you don't have to. It's just my way of deciding. i am almost said, remind me at the end to do a tissue test, but you guys can't talk to me. Off topic for a second, I had my checkup yesterday for my breast augmentation. It was a breast lift with augmentation and I do have to wear this strap right now. And he said it's to make sure that things kind of sit in the pocket. It literally was just last week on Wednesday and I'm filming on Wednesday. My recovery has been really easy. And I hate to say that because if somebody else has a lot of pain, I don't want to belittle their pain. But I just had a full hysterectomy last September. I went in knowing that this would be nothing compared to what I've done in the past. It gave me Dilaudid. I hate taking that stuff. I'll take it if I need to, but I really don't like it. It just causes a whole other load of problems like constipation and I just don't like the feeling of it. So I really was determined that I didn't have to take that, but I didn't even have to push myself. It was very easy not to take that. By the way, I used a BK Beauty 212. If you're looking for eyeshadow sets for yourself or gift ideas for people, these are all on sale right now. That was a shimmer that I just used, but a really soft, glowy shimmer. Nothing sparkly. So I'm not paying attention. I should have used this one, but I don't really believe in that rule where you have to have a mat in the crease. I really don't have a lot of rules, honestly. You have to do what makes you feel good. I'm gonna blend that out with my first brush. I liked that shimmer. I watched, oh, what's her name? She's a professional makeup artist. Hardest? <laughs> She's a professional makeup artist here on YouTube and she did Lisa J's makeup two days ago, I think. I loved watching her do her makeup because she doesn't do the face first, she does the eyes first, and it looked a hot mess before she cleaned it all up. Did it ever look good? So she really brought her eyeshadows out and then cleaned it right up. I'm gonna try that in one of my videos. I'm gonna use this same matte color right here. Other than the fact that that eyeshadow broke on me, these are really, really nice. Like, look how easy that went on. I should have swatched these for you guys. Wow, they're really swatching nice. This is what I'm gonna put on my mobile lid to give it a nice shimmer. I'll use this as my eyeliner. This is the one that I first used on my crease and this is the matte color that I've been building it up with. I'm gonna dip into this one and put it right there. Hey, I have a question. I'm really trying to get my business going, the online consultations. I'm finding the first few ones that I did were amazing, but I, I spend a lot of time, more than I think people realize. 
I give you a questionnaire first, and then when I get on the phone with you, it's kind of like an interview process. Like I really want to make sure I know you, your routine, the products that you own, the amount of knowledge that you have. So that takes a lot of our time. The more I get to know you, the more I can help you. Before I get on the phone with you or on our screen time with each other, I research the ingredients. And I also make sure that what you're using works with each other, if that makes sense. And then afterwards, I will send you immediately your screen record of the whole thing so that you can go back and watch it anytime you want. And I will also email you a list of products that I recommend if you need new products. So we literally can be on there for two hours. And honestly, we could be on there for two and a half hours. And that doesn't include the time after where I send the recommendations to you. I better continue this or else I'm never gonna get finished. So my second client that I had, her name was Colleen, she's super nice. I asked her afterwards, I said, how do you feel? Did you get what, you're, what you wanted out of this? And do you feel that that was worth it? And she said, yes. And then we talked about price and I said, how do you feel about the price? And she said, well, I got a bargain. I think I charged her $125. And I felt at the end really happy because I got to meet somebody who I really liked and I got to help her and, it was very personal, um, but at the end too, I felt like, oh no, I, I gotta get paid more for this. That's a lot of energy that I just gave. I was told once that you need to have an equal exchange of energy and I don't ever wanna do something like this and go, oh, you know, like that wasn't worth it. Or, and it, it's not that, it's always worth it, but I don't wanna sell myself short either because I do feel like I'm providing a lot. Like it's personalized. Oh, I don't want that brush. This is from Beely, Belly, B-E-I-L-I. -E they sent these to me. They're on Amazon and I actually like a lot of their brushes. I'm gonna dip the angled brush into this darker color here and let's see, hopefully there won't be any fallout. I'm gonna spray my new spray. I just want that a little bit deeper so I'm wetting my brush. So when somebody asks me what is the best concealer or you know, a recommendation for them, for their skin, I have no idea because I don't know you. So it's really hard to give information and be confident with the information without talking to you first. And I don't want people spending their money on products that I've recommended and have it sit in their drawer. Yeah, I'm getting fallout guys. That's okay. Uh, it still could happen even if I do meet you, I might recommend something to you and you may not like it. It would be a much more educated recommendation than me talking to you guys here, you know? So that's the whole purpose of it. After I've had a few clients, I've changed my pricing and my structure, but I'm still not sure about it. So I've got one section for skin only and we'll just leave out the eyes and the lips and everything. Then I have one section for eyes only. For eyes, I feel like we should be able to keep it to an hour. And then I have a whole package where we can sit and just chat, have a glass of wine at night if we want, or on a Saturday or a Sunday or a coffee and get it all done. And I can tell you, it is a lot of fun. It's just like two girlfriends getting the stuff done and it's all about you. It's all about what's gonna work for you. And it really helps me to see you apply your makeup because then I can, tell if you need to hold the brush a little bit differently. So far, I've been able to tell if foundation is the right color. I can only tell as good as your lighting is and your quality of video, I suppose, but so far I've had good luck with that. I'm not trying to sell my services. I really more so would like your opinion. I had one girl say that for an hour it should be 250, but for me, I think that would be great. <laughs> but at the same time, I want everybody to be able to participate. I also put down a package of five, so it would be like five one hour sessions. Yeah, if it took two hours, we, we'll, we would figure that out. I'm gonna use the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow, and this is in soft brown. I met a really nice woman at a hockey game a few weeks ago, and she went to university for business, and she was so good to give me advice. What she told me, because I told her I don't know what to charge, you know, I, I really want this to be successful and I want to meet you guys and I want to help and, and guide you if you're having struggles. She told me, no, you've got to do a survey. You've got to actually ask what do they want? How much will they pay for what they want? And I thought, okay, well, how do I do that? <laughs> and I've been looking at SurveyMonkey or ChimpMonkey or something. 
I don't know. I don't really know how that works. And I need more time in the day. So it literally is easier for me to ask you instead of trying to figure out the survey monkey or chip monkey or whatever. It's just easier if you tell me. And the other reason that I wanna do this is because a lot of you have products in your collection that you can use. You don't need to go buy something new. Maybe you've gone to Sephora or your drugstore and somebody's sold you a bunch of stuff and you got it home and you just have no clue. So that's what I'm here for. I'm your clue. I'm your personal beauty assistant, basically. And I'm offering hair as well. I don't have that up on my website yet, but I will definitely help you with hair as well. Hair styling. And I can talk about color with you. Um, obviously, I'm not encouraging anyone to do their own color at home, but I can discuss color with you. It's one of those things that if I can help you use what you have in your house, as long as it's not gone bad or it's not the wrong color, then it will save you from buying things that you don't need. Unless you just love makeup like me and you need the new stuff because you just want it. That's different. I had this to try and I forgot that I gave it to my son's girlfriend. Another girl that I know from here in my comment section key, um, she told me that she loves this one. So if you're looking for a good mascara, this may be one for you. It's the Falsy Surreal by Maybelline. And I always get the blackest black. I'm gonna use my Milani Highly Rated Anti-Gravity. I gotta curl my lashes first though. I do have a little bit of fallout right there, but honestly, for the price, I think they were nine, how much did I pay for those? I paid $9.99 for those eyeshadows. I can deal with a little bit of fallout. We'll see how long it lasts. I am gonna take the dogs for a walk tonight. I have been taking the dogs for little strolls since my surgery, but my husband and I went to the park and I thought, ooh, that doesn't feel too good. So we just went to the park and came right back. Sometimes pain is good because I forgot that I had this done and I lifted a big studio light onto a stand. I don't know how to rest unless I'm in pain. It's really hard. And I have another story to tell you. I got home from my surgery. My mom and dad picked me up and we didn't realize that my dog Bailey had gotten into chocolate. All of a sudden we saw Bailey vomit all over the couch. You know, sometimes dogs give warning. There was no warning. I felt so bad. There was no way I was making my mom and dad clean that up. They don't own a dog. They love dogs, but they didn't come here for that. So I jumped up, got the paper towel. We got the, the cover off of the couch and put that in the wash. And then not long after, he threw up a huge pile again on my carpet. Again, my parents didn't sign up for this. So I got up, got on my hands and knees, scooped it all up. And then my mom and I were running around trying to figure out where the source of this chocolate was because I saw a wrapper in his vomit. That didn't make me feel so good, so I sat down. Poor mom was scrubbing the vomit out of my rug. Anyway, so I was told to go home and rest, and the first day he vomited four times. Couch, carpet, kitchen floor, and then my husband, he thinks, oh, he's better now. Right, camera turned off. So then my husband, he thinks, no, he's better now. Look at him, he looks fine. I said, no, he's not. I go lie down, my husband comes and lies down with me. We turn on the news and Bailey comes and lies right up on Dave. He was cuddling right in and we were both saying, oh, look how cute, oh, he's so cuddly. Blah. All over my husband, all over the bed. I was actually really worried about him, but I also figured that since he was throwing up that that was gonna be okay. And the vet called me the next day and said that, yeah, that's what they would have done anyways. They would have just made him throw up. I feel like this mascara is a little bit old. It's definitely old. So yeah, a little bit of a stressful day coming home from surgery. My adrenaline just went skyrocket and I just forgot that I had had surgery and ran all over the place. Or to me, it felt like I was running. I probably wasn't running. I was doing more than I should have. Of course, my mom and dad are trying to tell me to sit down. It reminded me though of the time that we were in New Jersey and my daughter had her tonsils out can't remember how old she was. And the doctor said after her surgery, no physical activity for two weeks. Well, my ex didn't listen to that. So a week after her surgery, they went to a park and it was chilly and they played football. I had had my bunions done. My foot was in um, one of those boots because I just had the surgery and Lexi was recovering from her surgery. I was watching TV with a friend of mine and I look over and my daughter is gray, full of blood. She was hemorrhaging. Well, I forgot 
completely that I had had surgery. I'm gonna clean this up and start over again here. I ran up those stairs and checked the bed. The bed was full of blood and I called the hospital. My friend drove us, Justin was with us too. It was so serious by the time we got to the hospital, the hospital was calling me saying, where are you? They were ready, like, I don't know what time in the morning it was. I think it was about one o'clock in the morning. The whole team was ready for her. That was so scary. Not to compare my dog to Lexi. <laughs> it's just you get in that panic mode. There's no pain when you have adrenaline. I'm just using my foundation. That foundation right up underneath the eye looks really good, I think. I'm gonna do a tissue test before I put anything else on. So let's press that in. Says that it's transfer proof. Nothing. Yay. I really like this. I wasn't sure at first. That was very watery in the beginning. So shake it. I got a blush. So this is the CoverGirl True Blend So Flushed. High pigment blush. High pigment blush and I don't get along. I'm gonna use a bronzer first. This is the Physician's Formula Bronzer. Just shape in the face, adding some warmth. By the way, this is a 104. Warm up the forehead. Let me do a second coat of that mascara, I forgot. If you're like me and you have a heavy hand, make sure to go with a light fluffy brush. So I'm actually gonna use a fan brush. This is from that uh, brush company on Amazon again. You know, like, is it the best quality? Not necessarily. You can see that there's kind of some stuff happening there. I've used it and washed it a couple times. I don't like how that's looking. Why is that? These drive me crazy, but I feel that was really nicely covered before the bronzer. Did I lift the makeup? I don't like that. And I think it did start off with the bronzer. Weird. I feel like that had more shimmer in it than I remember. All right, when all else fails, erase. I'm taking my foundation and my foundation brush, really working it into the brush and then tapping over. Get away, you suckers. I don't know what I think about this. I didn't realize that this was a high pigment blush. That's not really my thing. Do I have another drugstore blush? I can find one, I'm sure I have one. I have the True Match Super Blendable. That's more like it for me. This is called Tender Rose. And, ah, can you even see that? Um, <laughs> wait, okay. Dig, there's some color. What? Let's not judge before we try it. Oh yeah, that's working. Okay, that's my style. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. I went a little bit low right there. There's the lesson, don't judge until you try it. I thought I liked it. I was a little confused. Shall we try this? This is the Revlon Skin Lights. It's new. It's called Prismatic Highlighter. These are refer brushes, by the way. This one is a 05, and this one is number 18. This is what I'm gonna use for the highlighter. They're so beautiful. They are handmade in Japan. Can you see up close? Even if the lights are blurring it out a little bit, I hope it's not, that's not my intention. I'm not seeing it enhance any texture. This is Color Riche Matte and it's color 112. Can't see it. Let's make it the smallest print. Hmm. I don't want that one. 
I'm going for another Rimmel London. This is Miss Mauve. I have one side of my lip that comes down. I'm gonna put 800 over top. Or should I, should I keep this bright? Let's see what it looks like, like that. I could blot that a little bit. No, that's pretty. The other one I was thinking of using is this one. Also very pretty, very similar to the lip liner actually, but I like that one. I think that's nice and soft. Oh, I am so off-centered, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did clean this up, so I'm just gonna brighten this area up again with some bisque. The rest I feel is okay. I didn't even powder. Do I need to powder? Okay, I'm gonna use the Revlon translucent powder. This is the photo ready. This just dropped. I don't want much at all. I really like the way my skin looks. So I don't even have to settle any pores down. Look like right there and maybe just there. I really don't want much. Just to keep it in place. And right there too. I feel like I could go out. What does my hair look like? Bit of a mess. <laughs> All right, it is 20 after 10. I think I've said this about three times now and I just keep feeling like I'm out of focus for some reason. Anyway, I have nothing bad to say about this foundation. It looks so good. I had my glasses on when I was editing tonight so it's very normal for me to be right around here and it wears off the makeup so there's no judgment there. My cheeks look good. Still have that radiance and the blush on my cheeks, which blush is hard to keep. That's the first thing that wears off besides the lipstick. I really like it. Have you guys tried this before? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope this helps you guys. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with all your friends, and I will see you later. Bye.